Hello, my Leos. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. As you guys already know, this is going to be another general reading to see who the freak is coming towards you in this love thing, okay? Keep in mind, I, I understand that, you know, some people are new to tarot, but just keep in mind that the situation here could be vice versa or interchangeable. It could be reverse, okay? It's a general reading. What may not resonate for you will resonate with someone else, okay? If you need something that is direct to your situation, attuned to your situation, obviously at that point, you would want to um, book yourself a personal reading, right? So, Leo, let's. I need to remove these things, but I don't feel like making a mess. I don't want to make a mess right now. But let's see what which lunatic is coming towards you guys now, okay? I just don't really feel like removing those. Um, strings right now i want to make a mess anyway leo that last reading was something man so let's see what's what the collective is going through now <laughs> leo what is coming towards leo in love spirit what is coming towards leo in love leo what is coming towards leo in love oh okay let go of control issues. What is coming towards Leo and love? Leo, okay. Finances and career. Romantic feelings. So a lot of you are focused on finances and career. Which sounds about right for Leo. <laughs> I'm looking for the shit and it's right here in front of me. All right. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces. Gemini, Aquarius, possibly, Taurus. I see there's a decision that needs to be made here. Someone needs to make a decision. Angels, what is coming towards the Leo Collective in love? What is coming towards the Leo Collective in love? What is coming towards the Leo Collective in love? Leo, Leo, Leo. Ooh, just us. <laughs> All right, Leo. So um, some of you could be connected to a Libra. A Libri. <laughs> I don't know, I like saying it like that. But yeah, okay. So this could definitely be in regards to um, some of you could be a marriage, right? What is coming towards Leo in love? What is coming towards Leo in love? So it looks like there's justice coming to you. Or somebody could be wanting to sign them papers. <laughs> Three of Wands. Okay. Some of you could be waiting for justice or someone is waiting for some kind of answers in the situation. Someone's waiting. They're longing for you or you're longing for them. What is coming towards Leo in love? Tell me more. What is coming towards Leo in love? Okay. Strength in the reverse. So I feel like um, somebody definitely wants answers here. Maybe there's a case of pride and ego here. Strength in the reverse. Someone's pride needs to come down a little bit. Somebody needs to let go of control issues because the strength card in reverse could definitely mean needing to surrender or let go of um, control issues. You got the tower in the reverse. So someone's avoiding making some kind of change here. Someone's trying to avoid this tower moment. What is coming towards Leo in love? Tell me more. What is coming towards Leo in love? Wow. But whatever the hell the situation is, it looks like someone's feeling very burdened in this situation. Okay. Someone's probably feeling very stressed out. Um, sometimes when I see the Ten of Wands, it's like someone really needs to get something off their chest. It's burdening them. Um, the Magician is here. I'm not sure if this came out in the reverse or not. So I'm going to put it back and let it come out whichever way it needs to. What is coming towards Leo and love, okay? The six of cups in the reverse. So I feel like Leo, somebody in this situation um, probably feels unable to let go of the past. It could be their past, okay? Or someone hasn't yet let go of you. 
someone you may have divorced this motherfucker okay and they're they still haven't let you go but it's like okay if you're gonna come back to me or if you want any shot at us working this out you're gonna have to come correct tell the truth justice seven of cups is in the reverse Tell me more. What is coming towards Leo and love? Tell me more about the situation. What's coming towards Leo and love? Tell me more. Okay. You got the cherry. Someone feels very stuck, Leo. What is coming towards Leo and love? <laughs> what is coming towards Leo and love? Could be a cancer. What is coming towards Leo and love? Six of wands. But a lot of you are definitely getting a lot of attention. I feel like somebody, um, somebody has like a lot of pride and ego. What the freak? That's kind of what I'm really picking up here. Somebody's waiting on answers from you or you're waiting on answers from somebody. <sighs> Maybe for some of you, if this is somebody you know is kind of still hung up over an ex, you're just, you know, you need answers about that. Tell me about justice for Leo and love. Tell me about justice for Leo and love. Justice. Death in the reverse. Justice, you see? All right, so obviously um, you feel like there's a lack of closure. There's a lack of justice. There's a lack of um, fairness in the situation. Obviously, if this is a motherfucker who cheated on you, okay, you want answers. But I feel like somebody needs to let go of their pride and their ego. <laughs> Tell me about the three of wands. Coming towards Leo and love. Why is the three of wands here? Someone's undecided. Page of wands reverse. Someone's not really expressing themselves. Someone's keeping um, a secret or keeping information to themselves. Why do I feel like this is kind of childish? Like somebody's kind of handling things childishly here. Tell me about strength in reverse coming towards Leo in love. Okay. Ace of swords. So someone knows that they need to be honest here. They need to communicate. Someone doesn't really want it to be over. But I mean, if you're not opening your mouth, you're not speaking up, you're not speaking the truth, then tell me about tower in the reverse for Leo in love. Tower reverse. So this is what I'm, what I'm picking up, Leah. I feel like some motherfucker really wants to kind of get something off their chest. But I, why do I feel like somebody may have like, may lack confidence or something like that? Or they don't feel good enough for the other person. Someone's lacking in confidence. Six of Wands reverse, the sun in the reverse, judgment in the reverse. God, Lee. But I mean, obviously someone feels as though there's unfinished business here. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Someone may just have like a lot of stress in their life currently. You know, money problems, family problems. Um, someone's kind of dealing with a lot. They have a lot on their plate. It's kind of what I'm picking up. Tell me about judgment. Sorry. Tell me about Ten of Wands reverse for Leo and love. What are they releasing? Six of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. See, someone is withholding their feelings. What the freak? Uh, someone has been breadcrumbing the other person. Somebody has a, a blocked heart chakra. Somebody's really suppressing their feelings here. But also, you know, of course, it is possible that somebody may be in something, okay? Someone needs to get a divorce, obviously. They're in a situation that's not very stable. They're probably keeping this from you. All right, tell me about the Six of Cups in the reverse here for Leo and love. But somebody has, hasn't let go of their past or a past person. You could be um, the past person in this situation. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so someone doesn't really want to miss this opportunity with you, Leo. That's what I'm seeing. Someone doesn't want to miss this opportunity. But I mean, if you can't get out of your head or get out of this relationship. <laughs> tell me about the seven of cups in the reverse. Magician reverse. So somebody in this situation is kind of. They're, they're letting their mind go to crazy places. <laughs> like somebody's really overthinking it. 
they feel like okay I, I may not be i may not be good enough for leo i may not be able to keep leo so someone may feel very um intimidated by you or something like that tell me about the the can ugh, cancer the chariot in the reverse so <laughs> leo so somebody is intimidated by you They're stuck on you. Tell me about the six of wands here. Someone's really stuck on you. And it's like they see you getting a lot of attention. They feel like you're very good looking. They feel like, um, oh, Leo. Oh, my God. That's what I'm seeing here. They're very worried. Whoever the hell this person is, they're very worried. That's why they haven't confessed their feelings to you. That's why they haven't told you anything. Because they kind of just... They feel like you could hurt them because you're very good looking and um I don't know. Like I feel like someone who's a little insecure. Insecure. You're all beautiful women if you're insecure. All right. I had to just, you know, that juvenile reference there. So someone's afraid. So I feel like someone's kind of hiding behind like childish games and shit and just and someone on the receiving end of this is like, I mean, I need answers. Why are you acting like this? Why are you, you know, it's just weird. It's weird. All right. Angels, what is hidden in the situation for Leo in love? What is hidden in the situation for Leo in love? Someone really has a lot of pride in the ego, boy. All right. Someone may have trust issues. What's hidden is somebody's waiting for some clarity. Somebody's waiting for answers. Seven of Pentacles are trying to be patient. But it looks like, okay, if whoever in this situation does not speak up, I see someone really just deciding to move on. Could be a Virgo. All right, advice for Leo in this situation. Advice for Leo in this situation. So let's see what the freak they're telling you to do. Ooh. So... I kind of see spirit like, okay, you may need to just walk away from this situation because it's almost like someone is feeling defeated, okay? Somebody's feeling defeated in this in this situation. And there's nothing you can do right now about this. Spirit's telling you not to do anything. Obviously, if you're on the receiving end of this, don't do shiat. All right, tell me about the five of swords. Devil in the reverse, detach, don't waste your time. The Hierophant is in the reverse. Okay, so Leo, this person is very, um, they may not commit to you. That's kind of what I'm seeing. You could be waiting on a commitment from this person. You want to be with this person, whoever's in this situation. But whoever the hell this person is, it looks like their pride or their ego is way more important to them. Okay. They're holding back. Some of them, they're still holding on to an ex as well, or they're holding on to their past. They have trust issues, and this could be why you're not able to manifest anything more with this person. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so let's see what, um, what I can get from these cards. And just tell me more about the situation for Leo and love. Tell me more about the situation. The silver waterfall. I need to look up what the hell that means. The sacred woman. Sacred woman is definitely about like respecting yourself, self-respect. And connection. Okay, so there's obviously a connection here. Compatibility. But guess what's behind that? Worthiness. So someone doesn't feel good enough, Leo. I don't know. It's like, and that's why they're afraid to commit or to go there with you because they just don't, I don't know. It's like, this is a motherfucker who's, who's really afraid. Like you intimidate them. Anyways, <laughs> Leo, let me know what the freak is going on. Love you guys very much. And I will see you guys next time.